Hello, this is Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and today I am back again with a fruit catcher series. Um, sorry, this part took so long. I was um busy with quite a few um other stuff, but um, so I'm gonna we're gonna um go right into where we had left off. So when we click start game and we um tap the screen, this should happen if you have followed the previous two tutorials. So now, what we're going to do now is we're going to make fruits fall from the sky, and in part 4, we will probably make the basket start moving around. And also, in this tutorial, we'll be um, polishing quite a few um, things as well. So we'll be making all of these look much better, and also, fruits will fall in the uh, main menu screen as well. So let's jump right back into Xcode. So over here in our supporting files folder, we'll be using an app, the Apple... Banana, uh, this bomb will be in part 4, and oranges, strawberries, and watermelons. These will all be the fruits that will fall from the sky. And, and um, the goal of the game is the basket will be, will be moving left or right, and you have to catch them. And if you, if you miss one, your lives go down. So, so let's, go, let's get right into it. In the view control that H will start off over here. We're going to go on just underneath our add interface. We're going to do a open curly bracket and we're going to drop some lines. And in, be in between these, so in between over here, we will be doing um, IB outlet space UI image view space asterisk and we will do a uh, fruit one. So as we have apple, banana, uh, orange, strawberry, and watermelon, we're going to have around five fruits. So Back, go back to your view control dot h, and copy this five times with command c and paste it command v. So like so. So we have declared five images, and these are they are all called fruit one, fruit two, fruit three, and so on. Now, depending on what images you're using, yours might be a little bit different. So I'm just gonna um use five fruits for the main menu screen, cause um apple, banana. Orange, strawberry, watermelon, that's five fruits that we got. So go over to your main storyboard and over here on the bottom right corner, look for image view. And we're gonna drag that right over here. Now in this image view, we're gonna go over to the um to this fourth tab here, the attributes inspector. And you're gonna Im I'm gonna use Apple.png first. So I'm going to resize that so it's small enough. So I'm going to do it here. Now copy and paste with command C and command V. Now use banana. Then copy and paste this again. I know, I know this will look much better in the finished, when it's finished. But um, for now we're just going to make all five images for, for, all, for the all five fruits. So let me drag that here. Let's hope Xcode doesn't crash because I tried recording this last time and it um and it kind of crashed a lot. So yeah, hope my luck holds out. So orange, strawberry. Let me, let me resize that. And lastly, the watermelon. So watermelon to PNG. Okay. So what's gonna happen is if these five fruits some. Um, Sorry, once you load up the game, these five fruits will start falling down. Then, each time they hit the bottom, they'll respawn up. This is just to um, make things look a lot better and more polished. So, let's drag in another image view here, and this is going to be the um, border. So, when the fruits hit the, the bottom of the screen, it will regenerate on the top, and so on. So, before we continue linking them up... Oops. Go sorry. Go to view control dot h again and declare another image view. So UI image view space asterisk and do bottom border and end that with a semicolon. So once you once you have this um all typed in, go over to your main storyboard once more. Go um click the top of this view controller so it's highlighted blue like so. Make sure the first one is selected and go over here to your connections inspector over here on the the sixth tab and now this is what we're gonna link. we're gonna link bottom border to the bottom because that's what the fruits will hit once once it will regenerate you're gonna link the first fruit to the apple second fruit to the banana 
third fruit to the orange, and the fourth and fifth, obviously, to the strawberry and the watermelon, like that. So just to make sure you um, link them up correctly, you can run them over and see, like, what I'm doing right now. So that is perfect. Okay. So now we're going, we're going to declare a timer. So do ns timer space asterisk and move. We're going to call it a fruit movement timer. And this, and then we're going to declare a method. This this method is going to be called a uh, fruit fruit movement. And in this, we're going to um code. We're going to code them to move in this method. So copy and paste this void fruit method fruit movement, I'm sorry. Then in your implementation file, .m is implementation file in objective C, um, space that out, find a free space, and copy paste that. Now here, in the middle of this, this is where we're gonna code the uh, fruits to move down the screen. So before we actually type anything here, we're gonna go into our view did load method over here. So on top of super view did load, but underneath view did load, space out space that out and do movement fruit movement timer space equal space bracket and as timer space ske oops, scheduled timer with time interval go over here to the third one which is target which is target selector user info repeats so you're gonna do 0, 0.0 let's see 2 target self enter selector at selector and that is going to be that is that has to match fruit movement so this matches this over here or whatever you called your method depending on what you called your method you're going to have to um copy that just to make just to be precise user info nil repeats yes and then close bracket and and end that with a semicolon so we're gonna um so now we're gonna go over here and do fruit one dot center equals cg point make open bracket fruit one dot center dot x and then fruit one dot center dot y plus three close bracket semicolon. Now obviously we will change we will change this number based on um, how fast the fruit goes so. If it's too slow for our taste, we'll edit that later on in the video. But for now, we'll copy this. Uh, how many times again? Five times. Oopsie daisies. All right. So you copy that there and change each one. So fruit four, fruit five. I'm just, I'm just gonna copy this in. But if you're new to programming, I suggest you type them all out just so um, just so you can practice um, practice it. So for, copy that over there. Okay, so as I said again, we will change the plus three here. We, will, we might change that if the fruit moves too slow for our taste or too fast, depending on which one. And we're gonna do if we're gonna do an if statement. So if fruit one dot center, actually no no, but erase that. If cg rect intersects rect, then fruit one dot frame. And now we're gonna now we're gonna do here bottom border. So though, if you don't remember, that's the one that's at the bottom of the screen, which is invisible. So bottom border dot frame. So what do we want to happen now? As I said before, if the fruit hits the bottom of the screen, we want it to regenerate all the way at the top. So let's go over here to our main dot storyboard and get the coordinates so we need. Is my thing still recording? Yeah, it is. So this fruit one over here is gonna regenerate at the top, which is just just off the screen a little. So move that a little bit to the top to get the coordinates that you need. So that is thirty and negative seventy seven. So let me go back to our view control that M, and so we're gonna do fruit one just center equals CG point make, and I don't remember what it what it was, but 30 and negative 77 so that is where it will respawn at once it hits the bottom so close bracket semicolon so now once you've got that let's move that back into the view let me resize that back to normal okay so for now for now that's um 
So for now, we're just going to test it out on the, on the first fruit. So let's click run and we'll check it out and how it moves, how it works. So this is just to test if everything is going okay so far. So wait for the uh, iOS simulator to actually load up. Okay, here we are. So as you see here, the fruit is regenerating at the top. Now, we want all five fruits to regenerate as they hit the bottom of the screen. So that is what we're going to do um, late, right now. So the first one is working. So we're now going to do it to fruit 2 all the way down to fruit 5. So we're going to go again. If space cg rect intersects rect fruit 2 dot frame and bottom border dot frame. So copy and paste this until you're at fruit 5 or however or how much your fruits are. So let's go to fruit 3, fruit 4, and lastly fruit 5. Now these are all different coordinates. We can't just um copy and paste them because this is for the this is the coordinate for fruit one because if we if we copy them all at the same time it will it will all spawn in one location and that will not look good. So we want them to spawn at different areas of the screen. So for fruit two we're gonna get the coordinates for that for main storyboard. So here we want the x coordinate. So one forty six. Is the x coordinate where, where was I? So we can we can copy this, but we can edit the fruit two, and we can edit one four six. The negative seventy seven is um the y coordinate. We don't have to change that because we want them all to spawn at the same height. Ju we just want them to spawn at a different um x coordinate. So our fruit two is at one forty six. Then again, you can you can mess around with the with the um, y coordinate if you want to. I'll make that 100 just um, to be different. So fruit 3, we're gonna try to find where that is at. So fruit 3 is this orange over here. The x is 334. So go over here and do 335. And this we can do something like 200, 210 or something. Just um, play around with the numbers un until you find your until you find your desired option. So copy that again for 4, for 5. So call command S to save that, just in case Xcode, Xcode crashes. So for 3 is 334. There's so 446 is fruit 4, and 577 is fruit 5. So 446, was I correct? So let me just check, double check that. There we go, that's correct. Okay, so we just have we're just gonna change the um the y coordinate to probably probably like 89. This can be like 230. And every time they every time the fruits hit the bottom of the screen, they will um continue respawning and respawning. So that will kind of decorate the main menu. So let's click play now. for the X code to load up. Oh, by the way, I have some um, apps in the App Store, by the way. I forgot to say in the beginning of the video. So you can check them out in the description and give, maybe give them a rating, and which will be appreciated. So now, once they hit the bottom, they will respawn at the top. Now, what we want to do is we want them to spawn at the um, top of the screen fir first, like when we, when we really open up the game. Because as of right now, they just appear on here. See how they just appeared right in the middle of the screen. So we want them to be off the screen the whole time. So we're gonna um copy all of this. So command and highlight them. Hold the command on your keyboard to highlight each fruit. So I'm gonna highlight all five. And we're gonna command copy them with command C and go into view did load command V. Copy and paste. So um now when we click play. This just that's just of my minor issue by the way. If you click play now, in my opinion, this looks much better. So let's click play. Now they all actually start falling from from um not not within view. So so that is the minor issue fix. Again, that is not important, but just in my opinion, that kind of um, improves thing improves things a little bit. So we're gonna, when we click start game now, we want the fruits to start falling down as well. So 
we just we just pretty much have to do the same code like we did like last time where the baskets will be catching the fruits so in part 4 we'll be coding the basket to actually move around so before we end the video let's do the same thing that we did here except we're gonna go to game code dot dot h and over here in between um let me fix that up in between these two um brackets we're gonna space that out and do ib outlet space ui image view space asterisk and we can do like fruit one we can do this exact same as we did last time obviously we will make this a little bit harder however so let's add actually an extra fruit maybe fruit seven since we are since the gameplay is going to be much harder since the um, main menu scene is just the main menu area is just um, to decorate that but the actual gameplay will be much more difficult so go to main that storyboard and go to your um second view controller so the one that the one with the basket and with the labels so go over here drag in the image drag in another image view again and we can do the um apple and whatever fruit you want it doesn't have to be in order oops it doesn't have to be in order okay so just um just um do this i'm just going to do an, the apple first like last time so now as we have seven, we need to copy and paste this until there are seven image views now. So four, five, six, seven. And we can probably make them a little bit smaller, so because they are kind of filling up the whole screen. So where was I? So fifty-one and forty-seven for each of these. So let me just um fix them up. and the last one there we go so now we're gonna change the image view to, to a banana or whatever fruit it doesn't have to you don't have to do it exactly how I do it but um, in this tutorial I'm gonna do it in this order so apple banana orange probably make that a little bit bigger a watermelon Watermelon, what else? Strawberry. And then we can leave another apple here, and this one will be another banana. So we'll do exactly what we did here. We'll make them all fall down. So over on your game code.h or whatever you called your second file. Yeah, let me make sure everything is working perfectly. Alright. We're gonna declare an NS timer. So NS timer space asterisk again and we're gonna do it timer fruit movement I'm gonna call it a little different from what I called it in the view control that H and we and we can um, link these images together once more so fruit one goes oops fruit one goes over to the apple fruit two goes over to the banana or whatever image you put on there doesn't have to be a banana it can be any I'll uh, link that to the watermelon. One, two, three, four, then five, six, seven. And this is going to be the um, ground. So we already have declared the bottom. So we declared it as ground. So we're going to do CG rect, intersects rect, and then fruit one dot frame, then ground dot frame. So that, that's all good for now. So we're going to go over here, go underneath this curly bracket, and we're going to enter in a method. So, hyphen, open bracket, void, close bracket, fruit, movement, like just like last time. So we're going to command C that, and we're going to command V underneath, just underneath our app implementation. And command S to save. So before we can actually um, input the code here again, we will we will put the timer in in here so under in this um if statement in the if start equals equals yes statement we're gonna do the timer so whatever you call timer fruit movement was what how what I called my ns timer space equals space open bracket ns timer space scheduled timer with time interval uh, 0 0.02 target self selector at selector open bracket fruit movement User info is uh, nil. Repeat. 
Yes. And and that entire uh code is a semicolon. And now so now what happens is when once we um touch the game, so when we when we let me um click play just to demonstrate. So um wait for the simulator to load up. You don't have to do anything here, I'm just gonna explain quite a, a bit of things just to get some confusion out of the way. So let me click start game. Now these these five will all start moving once we tap. So this label here will disappear and this will and then the timer will be activated. That's why we have it in between the if statement. So to the if start equals equals yes. So and then we touch the screen, this is these will all be hidden. Like the labels will be hidden. The scoring will not be hidden because we need the scoring to display once we catch a fruit. So as as you saw in the beginning, the fruits were all showing in. So before we code the movement, we're gonna do fruit one dot hidden equals yes. And we're gonna do this for all seven fruits. I forgot to forgot to press command C just there. Four, five, six, seven. So just make them all fruit five or whatever you called your image views. So seven. And copy that into the um, if statement here and change them to no because we want them to be showing once the game begins and so now once we click the play button so click the click the play button again once you finish what you just what I just did press start game and now they are hidden until we we press that so now once I'm sorry. Now, once that once that happens, we these all will start falling down, just like in the um main main menu. Except they might fall a little bit faster, just to add some challenge. All right. So this is the last thing we're gonna do before we um before part four, and part four we will be designing the um basket to move, and we'll polish quite a few more things, and then you have your first game. So now on on the fruit of movement uh, method that we did that we um, copy and pasted earlier, we're gonna do fruit one at center equals C G point make open bracket fruit one that center that x and then on your C G float y fruit one that center dot y plus let's do a uh, four close bracket actually just do three I think because. We have more um, fruits, so it's a bit more challenging. So we don't want we don't want um, the players to be a bit um, scared of the game. They want we want them to enjoy. So copy that seven times. So for three, it's four. Fruit five, fruit six, fruit seven. Again, as I said before, if you're new to programming, I suggest you type them all out. But since me, I'm experienced, so I don't really have to. Um, to go through the effort, but just so you guys get kind of get used to this weird new environment. If you're new to programming, that is. Oh god, I keep pressing the back. Okay. So we have so we have successfully made them move move when sorry, we have successfully made the images start moving down. So let's click play again. So come on. Wait for that. Okay. So now, one, if you have done everything correctly and you press start game, they will start to move down. Now we want them to regenerate, not regenerate, respawn once they hit this, once they hit this green thing at the bottom, this green bar here, like just, just below the basket. And then when we tap right or left, when we tap right or left, the basket will move accordingly. So let's stop and let's do that right now. So if, do an if statement. So if cg rect intersects rect and fruit one dot frame and we can do ground to dot frame so once the once the fruit first fruit hits the ground then the code will run at the bottom so let's get the coordinates for the first fruit so yeah again this is entirely subjective you this is subjective, so you need to um, you don't have to copy exactly how I do it because sometimes if you have more than this, it could kind of screw up. 
if you have more images than what I have right now, you want them to all um show properly. So according to what your um according to what your coordinates say, that's what you enter. So for mine, I'm just gonna do forty nine is the x. So you can do fruit one the center equals cg point make. This is where it will respawn. Forty nine and y is negative seventy seven. So it will spawn the core. This fruit will spawn back at forty nine. 49 um and y coordinate is negative 77 so let's click play again just to test it out again this is a lot of trial and error by the way so of course i might have to go back and look at the code a few times as i say just play around with the numbers until you find what you desire so um for now i'm just i'm going to do trial and error here come on simulator I'm sorry about it. it's taking taking quite some time, so um, let's chill back. You can you guys can chill back first one until this loads up. All right, let me um restart the simulator. It's not loading up properly. Stop and play again. Let's see if that works out. So I I might have to pause the recording a bit if this until I fix up the simulator. It's loading. Let me pause. Let me pause the recording first. Okay, so I fixed up the simulator and now it is some. Um, it has loaded up. So let me click start game and hit. Now the fruit is responding back to its original location. Now we want that to happen to all seven fruits. So once they hit this ground over here, so look. Once they hit this ground over here, it will respawn back over and over. So that this, now it is touching the ground because that is this. This code here is the one making this apple continuously respawn at the top. That is the CG rec intersects rec doing its job. So we can probably make the apple a little bit higher because, because it's spawning a little bit too fast. So let's try negative 100 perhaps. Mm, wait for it to load up. Start game. Yeah, we'll fix the issue of it spawning too fast. So yeah, that's still spawning a bit too fast. Um, probably in part four we'll fix that up a little bit. So copy and paste this uh seven times. So each for fruit. So fruit for fruit two all the way up to seven. So fruit three, fruit two, then fruit four, fruit five, fruit six. I could do that to fruit six by accident. Fruit seven, I think one too many. Let me erase that extra. And I'm gonna command command s this. Okay, so we're gonna have to edit each. Other. So underneath fruit two, we're gonna have to edit that to fruit two, and in fruit three, edit the fruit one to fruit three, and so on. So, cause we don't want we don't want it to continuously do it all if to fruit one. And the x coordinate for all of these are the x coordinates. We can, we we'll, we can change them all, um, depending on where our images are located at. So fruit two, fruit two's x coordinate is one forty one. So to do this, I'm gonna do um, fruit two is one forty two. And fruit three is two two hundred and ninety eight. So I'm gonna do two hundred and ninety nine. And fruit four is. Well, keep keep in mind, okay. This is um, these are my um images locations. So if your ones are different, enter what your ones say. So mine, mine example for the fourth image, mine says three hundred ninety one. So this is all subjective. So if five. Four hundred seventy five, five hundred thirty four, and five eighty nine. So. 475 584 was I correct I don't I don't remember what, what it was 534 I'm sorry then this is 589 534 and 589 okay so let's build and run the project again almost there guys I'm sorry if this video is too long we're almost there we just need to um fix up the coordinates a little bit part four we will make the basket move around and 
brought in and polished quite a few more um stuff. So start game. And now we don't want we don't want them to spawn like this. See how it'll be hard for a player to catch all the fruits. So we're gonna um edit the y coordinate quite a bit. So we're gonna edit this to two probably one hundred and ninety. So you're adding ninety each each in each one. So two hundred and eighty. Uh, and 370 and then this is going to be 460 and this 550 we're adding a um, 90 each on each one so then 640 so if we if we um build and run this again this is not um perfect for now so I'll I'll will mess around with with this in part 4 so keep staying tuned in. Let's try it now. There you go. See now they are spawning in. They are spawning alternate, which is what we want. Now the only thing, see that is perfect. The fruits are spawning in alternate alternate turns. So now the only the only thing left that we need to do before we end this tutorial, because what we have what we have right now is they just spawn right there. Like they're just they're just in on the screen all of a sudden. Like if we tap it. They just spawn in the middle, just like how it was earlier. So what we're gonna do is, just like what we did in the main menu, we're gonna copy the core, the um CG point make um code that the line, all seven lines. We're gonna highlight each one of these with command with command, and then we're gonna copy with command C and on uh view, view did load. Actually no, we're gonna do it in here because this is when the this is when the game starts up. We're gonna copy it in the um, start equals equals yes me, um, if statement. So just that's just a tiny little thing that we need to fix out. Um, it might work out now, so let's click play again. So um, let's click play. Click start. And there we go. They they don't they just don't spawn suddenly in the screen. So now. All we need to do now is set up set up if the bat set up our scores, the lives, and the game over, which will probably be in part four or part five, depending on how much we need to do. And we'll also make this basket over here. I'm, I hope you can see my mouse. We will make this basket. If we tap right or tap left, they will move left or right. So yeah, that concludes this tutorial for today. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoyed making the game with me. Uh, in part 4 we will probably do um, collisions, the lives and the basket moving. Um, as well, check out the description. I have a few games in the app store that I submitted recently. And um, so see you guys later. Thanks for watching.